Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video that is exclusive to YouTube, I will show you how I made these slides using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365. So the first thing that we'll do is that we'll insert a small rectangle here and then we're gonna right click and add a vertical guide and then we're gonna drag it to where this rectangle ends and basically this will be our area for um, kind of the name of the section. So then we're going to move it to the right and we're going to drag the height all the way to the edges of the slide. We're going to remove the outline and we're going to change the color. And then we're going to copy with Ctrl C and paste it with Ctrl V and we're going to put the second one next to it and we're going to change the color as well and we're going to repeat the process um, three times more. This will essentially be our slides so basically the color that you pick is the color that you're going to have for the background of the new slide. And once you're done with that you're going to hold shift on your keyboard and you're going to select all of them and just make sure that everything fits within the area of the slide. And then I'm gonna insert a text box here. So essentially this will be my cover slide. So maybe um, I will add just like a short description of what the royal family is because this presentation will be about the members of the royal family. I will increase the size with this button here and I'm going to change the font to Mango Pro. To adjust the line spacing, you have to click on this square here and here I'm going to select multiple and I'm going to change to 0 0.9 and now the line spacing is tighter so that makes the overall look a lot more modern. Then I'm going to insert another text box for the description and here I'm just putting some placeholder text um, that I will edit later. Uh, I'm going to select the exact same font and then holding control on your keyboard you can duplicate the text box and here I'm going to put the name of the section which in this case is the context. Now holding control on your keyboard you're going to drag this text box to the right to duplicate it and here I'm going to change um, the text to my first person which will be the Queen Elizabeth. So here you can just replace the text and we're going to repeat the process for the other rectangles. So the second one will be Charles and Diana and the third one will be William and Kate, the fourth one will be Harry and Meghan and the fifth one will be my conclusion. And then very important we are going to select all of these, we're going to right click and bring to front. Then you're going to duplicate the slide with Ctrl D, we're going to select the first rectangle and we're going to drag it all the way to the left edge of the slide we're going to insert some new text and we're also going to insert an image that in this case I'm sourcing from Google. So right click, copy image and then Ctrl V to paste. And then with the image selected go to picture format, click on crop and here you're going to drag this handle to the border of the first rectangle which in this case is the brown rectangle. When you're done you can just click on the gray area of the slide to get rid of the tool and then holding shift you can select the text and the image, go to animations, click on fade and then we're going to click on the animation pane, right click on the elements there and start with previous. And now we have the structure for absolutely all of the slides. So again select the remaining shapes here, right click bring to front and then duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And on the animation pane remove the animations that we have there and we're going to repeat the process. So ex extend the shape that you have there, move the title to the left and then we can copy and paste the image and the text that we had on the previous slide, just make sure that everything is aligned 
and I'll show you in a second how you can replace the image very quickly. So basically, again, copy paste the text here, then you can change it to your other person. So in this case, it will be Charles and Diana. And then go to Google again, look for an image, right click, copy image, then right click on the image here, change picture from clipboard. And now it's following the exact same size uh, that we had for the other image. And just make sure that these three elements are the ones that have the animation on the animation pane and that you don't have any extra animations there. So again, for the remaining shapes, right click, bring to front, duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and it will be the exact same process. So make this shape larger, move the title to the left, then get rid of the animation here, select everything, right click, remove, copy the image and the text that you have on the previous slide, align everything, and, and yeah, so on and so forth is exactly the same process for every single slide, slide that you have. So in this case, I'll change it to William and Kate, and I'll look for a very nice image of them online. I'm trying not to speed up the video so you can actually have a look at what I'm doing um, because I've got some comments that uh, people weren't really understanding what I was doing when I was speeding up um, to, to make everything quicker. So just bear with me. Again, select the shapes, right click, bring to front, duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and extend the shape here, move the title to the left. And I feel like you should write these instructions somewhere, otherwise you're gonna forget about them. So remove the animations from the animation pane, copy the text and the image from the previous slide, paste it into the new slide and align everything. Make sure that everything is tidy and beautiful. Now, this is a good time to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every week. And also, I'm running a giveaway on my Instagram page at Lurutia PPT where you can win my five premium templates. So here I'm on my last shape here. So right click, bring to front and then duplicate the slide with Ctrl D, get rid of the animation here, right click, remove, extend the shape all the way to the borders of the slide, move the title section to the left and then copy and paste your text from the previous slide and then just change the content. Now we're going to apply the morph transition but this one is only available for Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 onwards. So just keep that in mind. And then you're going to select all the slides holding shift on your keyboard, go to transitions and click on morph. And that's it guys. That's how I made this awesome presentation using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365. It's really, really cool, these effects, so I suggest that you apply it to your next presentation and remember to go to lurutiappt.com if you want to download my free slides or get my premium templates, you can find everything there. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support, don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on social media, on Instagram and on TikTok, all the links are in the description of the video. Thank you so much again and I will see you on my next video.